Hi guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a rose out of crepe paper, tissue, whatever um, paper material you have. So basically I'm here using a regular paper towel only because I like how it looks and you'll see in a minute how amazing it comes out. This is of course a um, generic little bounty. Okay, so what I do is I take a square, I fold it in half come back and fold it again and here at the bottom where the folds are I'm going to come up with all the open edges on the top and I'm going to fold it into a triangle okay now I want to take and create a shape that is like a like a half a heart Okay, so I want to make it pretty, pretty even, you know. It's an exaggerated um, end here, but you'll see in a minute why I exaggerated. This does not have to be perfect in any way, so that when you open the quarter, it looks like this. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to cut like an inch away from the end here okay um, all four of these intersections so it looks like you have a four leaf clover or four individual hearts as you can see okay now I take the tissue and I separate it. It's going to give me two sheets. Just be a little careful. Now if you're doing it with um, tissue paper or crepe paper you wouldn't have to do this step. You'd just be creating um, a sheet like this you're going to be making like four if I'm not mistaken so here we have the the shape we're looking for you'll notice that it's all cut leaving this section here all closed okay that's going to connect our flower so now what I'm using is just regular brush that I have at home it's just to scrunch up my corners we're going to be creating this here which you'll see this is what we're going to be doing to our tissue okay so the way we get that is we're going to take our um, stick whatever you have I'm using my brush I'm going to start in the top I want to end up even here so I'm just going to stick my and here just roll it up you see I come even from here to here and simply you're just gonna scrunch it you're gonna do this through all of these petals you're gonna repeat it for the two sheets and this does not have to be perfect okay now I'm scrunching it up more than I need but you'll see that opens up later I just want it to have a good memory and stay in the shape that I want it now these flowers are easy fun to make you can use them for decorating a gift um, making ornaments for a party centerpieces whatever you like so just have fun with it. You can make it in any size and a variety of colors that you want to pick. Um, basically you need to have a completely square piece of um, paper, tissue, whatever it is you're going to be using. And like I said, divide it into half. Then quarters, then make your 
extended little heart shape at the top. Extended, I mean, instead of a heart, it would be more lower, but I'd leave a little extra. Just gives you more to roll up and support your shape. Very easy, as you can see. Now, normally, I would be using a nice tacky glue to adhere my petals together but for today I'm going to be using a hot glue only because I want to get get it done fast so you can see the um, the flower come to life so this would be pretty for like Easter if you make um, an Easter bonnet you can take and make pretty um, flowers stick it all around the brim for your for your hat with a pretty bow and and for your Easter baskets to decorate the handles of your baskets just a nice fake corsage for a kids party the, 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 the uses for this is endless you can see how easy this is as I'm talking I'm going along really quick and um, to make this flower come together it's even easier so I think you'll enjoy the results it really does look realistic and you wouldn't think that something so simple as what I'm doing here is going to result such a pretty flower so if you have time and you want to make it in white with crepe paper or pretty flowers, you can even make pubos and um, stick it in some um, fake bouquet for like if you're having a bridal shower. You know how you have the disposable ones that you throw away. Okay, so here we have um, all the petals curled up. Now I have two sheets that I've used, like I said. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to take, and I'm just merely going to take one petal. I'm just going to curl it up, as you can see right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take the petal right next to it and I'm going to overlap that one. Okay. Just crimp it at the end like you see coming along here. Then you're going to take the next one. I'm just going to bring it over. You're going to like bring this one like to the half of that side here. And the last one, you're just going to cup it over again, doing half the petal here and bringing it over. I'm, I'm just pinching the ends here. Okay. Here you could have, if you leave it like this, you can make just um, a bud, a rose bud. You can manipulate the paper any way you like but you can see how it's coming along I think it's cute okay now for the next layer you're just gonna open that up here you're gonna grab it in the center you're gonna put your your end here in the center and again basically just pinching it bringing it up just manipulate the the petals whichever way okay now um we have the flower completed all I did was just basically scrunch everything together at the bottom as you can see 
just scrunch it and twist it, whatever way you see, just whatever. And this is what you get. I think it looks pretty cute. You know, I mean, it's just paper. So, to finish this off, if you want to get it ready for something special, what you'll do is you'll turn it around. You're going to use a floral tape. This is a fabric covered floral tape. And you just grab it at the end. Just going to twist it. Just wrap it around your little tail end right here. Like so. Okay. And with a wire cutter, just cut yourself a piece of the the wire. I'm not going to make mine too long, being it's just for demo purposes. Bring it up to the top. I like to double it so it has a little substance. And just twist it. Now I'm going to use some floral tape that you can find at your craft store in the flower department and with floral tape you it's not sticky at all the way it gets sticky is when you actually put it on and you pull you see it changes color okay that's how you can see the difference in the two colors here okay so it works don't think it's no good when you get it so I'm gonna come here to the top of the flower I'm gonna wrap it around okay wrap it around like I just did and when I come around I'm gonna start pulling on it remember it's gonna change from a, um, a darker green to a lighter green okay and basically just keep pulling and twisting on the tape just I have tension on the t on the tape here so as I'm pulling I'm just twisting it around pretty easy and at the end when you come to the end just twist it off and pull it off okay I missed a little piece here so I'm just gonna go back which you can do definitely so just go back again to the top start twisting it again pulling on the tape so that it turns the lighter green and then just rip it off okay now you could use this like I said um, you know for decorating anything it's just for fun it's cute you know um, I personally made a few of these myself I hang it in my in the visor my rear view mirror just hang it on I just have fun with these so I hope that you've enjoyed this little tutorial and that you try making some now I didn't use any glue on this one because it kinda held its own but if you need to um, use it with other paper that might be stiffer and a little unruly you can attach a little bit of glue in between just to keep it in shape but for me this is this worked and I only used um, the two sheets not just these two no more than two was necessary for my flower so from this to this hope you've enjoyed and you try it and let me know how it works for you so uh, keep watching and I'll try and keep putting more stuff okay guys thank you for watching bye bye